lighting in here today, boys. Oh, wow. That makes me look really white, which I am, but don't worry. Welcome back to another episode of a, well, what I like to call a sneaker unboxing, or as I put in the title, because I can't spell worth my life, a shoe unboxing. And, yes, this is the day after Christmas, if this video does go up the day it was made. But... I don't really know, honestly. This is just, like... This is this. is this. Welcome back. You already know how this works. If you don't know how this works already, go watch some of my previous videos. There will be no links in the description, but if you're watching this video, you can just click on my little channel icon, and then it'll show you right up to all my old videos and all my old stuff. All my fun, mystic adventures that I've had. We've got fan art. And there's shoes on my lights. I don't know why, but I like the shoes better than the mustache. If you didn't watch the last video, there was a mustache on the light thing. I said I would add one every time we pass another 100 subscribers or a mi or we hit another milestone. And I'm going to do that, but this time I'm going to do it with shoe stickers. Because, well, I like it fits my channel a little bit better. But I'm not just going to be putting them here. No, 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 no. My desk right now, which you guys can't see, but you'll see later in the video, is right now, currently, as we're speaking, covered with shoe stickers. Not completely covered. There are some spots where you can still see how my desk looks, but, you know, who cares? Because it's my video and my desk, so, and you guys, most of the time, can't see my desk. You can't see the face of my desk. I could be writing down notes and stuff while I'm making videos, and you guys wouldn't see it. But let's get on into the video. Starting off with Crep Protect, still not sponsored, but it's a good shoe cleaner. Sh I gotta take off my hat. I can't, you guys can't see me. So, Crep Protect, oh Jesus. Yeah, anyways, Crep Protect is a good shoe cleaner, shoe protectant, and a good scuff. If you basically have any sort of um, way to, or, so at the malls and stuff, I don't know if this happens in your guys' mall, if you live in any other place besides the Tri Cities. But if it does, then you know, you'll know you know what I'm talking about right away. There's shoe companies in the mall that'll try to sell you, you know, the next best thing, better than Crep Protect, any of that stuff. But honestly, Crep Protect's the only way to go. And no, we're still not sponsored! I don't know why. I gave them messages, I've said all these things to them trying to get new answers, but guess what? That doesn't matter anymore, because we still can't have those answers. But anyway, yeah, Crep Protect. Get it if you don't want it, then you don't want it, but this is probably the best way to keep your shoes looking good. And then, if you spray them good enough, say you spill, say you're eating a burger, right, and you get a little bit of ketchup on the shoe. Well, now you got now you got ketchup on your new shoes and they're ruined. But not if you got Crep Protect on, because if you have Crep Protect on your shoes, all you gotta do is really rinse them with some water and then you're good. If you don't have this on your shoes, they do make a shoe cleaner that does work pretty well. But this is like the main way to save your shoes. Next part of the video. The little itty baby Nike box. The little bit of baby Jordan Nike box, you know. With the little mini tag on it and everything. I had to remove the top of the box. But let's get on to what's inside of this. And no, this isn't what's on the video. But this does give you a hint to what this video is about. And I know that I've been... Alright, no, never mind. I'll save that for the next video. So, this might be the last video of the decade. I don't know. But if this is the last video of the year, just leave a like. Just please leave a like. Like... If you guys want to see more of these videos, just leave more likes, because that's all I want to know if you guys really like watching this crap. But anyways, oh jeez, I got to stand up. It's a little Jordan 1 shoe, oh, it's a little Jordan 1 keychain with the little laces, black laces, white midsole, red sole, you know, with the black, oh Jesus, I can't talk today. Ugh. The tongue's white, but yeah, little... The little loop that you put on your keychain. On this little tag here, it says Air Jordan on it. I don't know if you guys can see it. if Because, yeah, I can't, I'm not putting my light down anymore. But there's that. And then on the back, there's a Jordan logo. Yeah. So you can get these on basically Amazon for like 15 bucks. For like 15 to 10 bucks. 
they're pretty well made. They're pretty high quality. The only problem I have with these is you can tell on the sides and stuff where the paint messed up. But other than that, that's okay. Like, these are still pretty nice and pretty high quality stuff. Now that we've shown you the babies, though. Let's, oh, I gotta go way under my desk. Let's get on uh, to the daddies. Oh my God, do I love these shoes. They are, they took the cake with the, so if you guys watch my videos, y'all know that my Jordan 6s, Reflection and Champions are my favorite shoes that I currently own. But these just take the cake, like these just topped it. So yeah, you got the red and black Nike logo on the box, all around the sides too. It's just, it's beautiful. Down here, it talks about the shoe. I'll read that for you guys. Just give me a second. It says, Nike and the sluice name, name and stripe are trademarks. Nike, uh, I don't really need to read that anymore. These were the 1985 Air Jordan 1 models. But no, they aren't the real Air Jordan 1 models. Because guess what? These shoes, a little, 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 little. Released in July 27th or July 27th 2019. So they are kind of recent. They were still kind of a recent drop They retail for about 175 on Goat StockX really, but if you can find them on the Nike site sometimes they run discounts on them Which is fantastic. So yeah, let's get into the shoe Now I will only be showing one shoe because really like and it has all I need to talk about in this one. So the shoe comes with three kinds of laces. A red one, a yellow one, and then this black one that's on the bottom here. It's got a white tongue, or it's got a black tongue with the red lining on the top. It's got a yellow logo on the one side. On the other one, it looks like this on both sides. It's just this same thing on both sides with a white midsole and a black, like, sole. You got the Jordan logo all shined out with the red reflection on it with on the back just the classic Jordan look these shoes are basically like my top shoe in my closet now just because no I like how the shoes are made and how they like and how they just say the look of them like the look of them itself could tell you like what's the best thing about these shoes like just looking at them it's just something that like makes me fall in love with them. But the price on these shoes do vary. It depends on what size you are. Like, say you're my size, you're size 11. These could range from anywhere from one, 175 to 150. But say you got like a smaller foot and your foot's like, you know, like a size eight. Those, these could range from like 125 to 130, if you're lucky. But, yeah, like I said, on the Nike site, if you're lucky, sometimes you can find them on sale because these shoes aren't really picked up a lot, which I think they're really underrated for what they are. But the name of these shoes are the OG High Defiant Jordan 1s. Now, these shoes are basically my loves. I love these shoes. These could be like my new, like, fiasco. Or Picasso of my collection. But, yeah, I don't really have anything else left to say. But, let's check out my desk. Just because I said I would show you guys my desk. And I still haven't showed you guys my desk yet. And it's this late in the video. But, yeah. Here's my desk. It's got all sorts of shoe stickers on it and stuff. But, yeah. Anyways. Leave a like on this video if you want to see another one, and I will see you guys later.